Hi guys, and in this video I'm gonna talk about gradients in black themes, about gradient settings. Alright, and let me just show you if you're gonna select our header where we make a custom gradient, I guess it's gonna be this group, and we just go to this group settings right here, we can see that we set a gradient as a background. So if just gonna, if you just switch to this gradient tab, we can see our custom gradient and we also see some default gradients here, like a gradient palette. And we have some predefined gradients available in WordPress. And so let me show you how you can deactivate this uh, palette default palette of gradients, how you can deactivate uh, the possibility to set a custom gradient and we also, I'm gonna also show you in this video how you can provide your own palette for gradients. Alright, let's go ahead and let's start with removing this default palette. So in order to do so we just go to our theme.json file right here and we need color settings where we set some custom color palettes in the previous video and right now we're gonna talk about gradients. So let's just go ahead and add something like um, default gradients and we're gonna set it to false on that save and then we just go back to our template and refresh this page. Alright, let's check it out. So I need to select this specific group block or actually any kind of block by the way which supports backgrounds and we're gonna switch to gradient tab and yes as you can see we do not have our default predefined gradients available here right now we just have a custom gradient all right and now let's deactivate this gra custom gradient as well so we're just gonna back here and we're gonna set parameter custom gradient to, guess what, to false, like that. If you go back here, refresh the page, all right, and um, all right, we can actually choose any group by the way. And if you go here, you can see that we still have our custom gradient available here, but there are no more gradient settings in this background section. All right, and uh, next uh, thing we're gonna do is we just, uh, I guess we can leave these two settings as is for now, and then we're gonna provide our custom gradients here our custom predefined gradients. All right, and uh, actually the whole process is kind of similar how we provided custom palettes for colors. And I'm gonna provide an empty array here and then I'm just gonna provide some array elements. And let's uh, say we're gonna make, we're gonna add two gradients here and so that's kind of the gradient ID, let's say main gradient or maybe like a header gradient and this is gonna be footer gradient. Uh, and as you can see guys, I'm just going, going to add gradients here which, are, which already exist in our theme. And here we're gonna provide like gradient property. Let's leave it empty for now. And it's gonna be like a gradient name. My awesome new header gradient. I'm just uh, <coughs> I'm just making a name like this just to show you how it's gonna be displayed. And this is gonna be gradient two, for example. Great. And now we need to provide gradients here. How we can do that? And here I have some kind of free gradient tool. It's not an advertisement, guys, just a first tool I found in Google. And here we can set a custom gradient, right? All right, so let's do so. And when we set our gradient, we just scroll down a little bit 
and we can copy this part into our theme.json file. Okay, we need colors first of all, and um, I guess I'm gonna use uh, my color picker. So let's choose the first color and we're gonna provide it uh, here, I guess. I'm gonna remove the middle car color from here and now we need uh, the darker one, this one. Let's copy and paste it right here. Great. And then we're gonna change the gradient radius to, to this. And now we have exactly the same gradient as we have in our header. And now let's go ahead and copy this part. And I'm gonna paste it right here. And then we need uh, a footer gradient. So, and our footer gradient, I guess it's just like white to gray. And the gray one is uh, this color. Okay, so we're gonna provide this color here and the gray color here. And that's gonna be our footer gradient. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this part into our gradient palette. And I guess that's it. So let's uh, go ahead and save it. Then we go back to our theme page template. And let's see what we have now. So if we go select our block and then we're gonna go to the gradient tab, which is now available by the way, as you remember, we didn't have this gradient tab, tab once we set these two options right here. And if we switch to this tab, we see two custom gradients here. And we have our gradient two, which is gray. And we also have my awesome new header gradient. So just like that. So now we provided our custom gradient here. All right, and um, maybe we can leave this option like this. <coughs> okay. And now, oops, I, I removed not what I needed. Custom gradient, default gradients, what? So if I set default gradients to false, Oh, oh sorry, everything is correct. Why I'm looking into this tab, what's wrong with me? All right, guys, and now we have our gradient settings here. So everything is set. And uh, the last but not least, let me show you how you can set your custom gradient settings for just for specific blocks, not like for every website, for the whole website, but just for some specific blocks. And we can do it exactly like we did for colors. As you can see, we do not have a back background option available here. And for example, we can hmm, we can decide that we can use like this uh, custom background, but we cannot use gradients, for example. So we just provide default gradients to false and then custom gradient to false as well to this specific block. And if you go and refresh this page, and we can see that we have background option available right now, but we have only like this custom gradients. And maybe we can also set, remove our custom gradient palette just like this by providing an empty array here. Save on that, go back here. All 
All right, and as you can see, we have no more gradient tab available in this background settings. Of course, maybe it would be better to set this custom gradient settings for any other block, for example, maybe for a button block or something else. Ah, maybe for a sidebar, for a column. So right now we have gradient option in a column block and we're gonna remove that because I guess we do not need the whole background settings in this uh, date block. So, all right, and then let's just uh, go back like this. So, and now we need to add another block here. So it's gonna be core column. I hope that's the correct name of the block. And then we're gonna create color settings for this block and we provide default gradients to false, custom gradient to false as well. And we also need to provide an empty array for gradient palette because if you didn't do that, the main gradient palette is gonna be used. But we, if we do not have one here, you can also skip this part in the block settings. All right, on that save and let's uh, check it out. I hope I used uh, the correct name of the column block, I hope. And uh, if you go here, go to background and yes, we do not see, we do not see any gradient settings here anymore. That's pretty much it guys. I hope everything was clear and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.